My undercoat's dry, now we're ready for the top coats. Now Julia has picked me this beautiful paint called Grey Feather. She's worked it out that it's going to tie in exactly with our kitchen there and also with our joinery shelves in our study nook. And the reason we haven't really gone for too bright of a colour is because the size of the door speaks for itself. Now, like my undercoat, I always start on the edges so I can tidy up any of these overdrips. Once your edges are done, we're ready for some rolling action. Now you notice that I've chosen a foam roller. This is because on a semi-gloss or a gloss, you don't want to have any bubbles come up. And these are really good at holding the right amount of paint for your doors. Now when you're loading up your roller, you don't want to have too much paint on it. So you get just enough, and then away we go. All I'm doing again to start with, just loading up the door. All the way to the edges, and then we work our way back. Just getting a good cover. Now, all I'm trying to do is work my angles. So I let the roller do the work, and just slightly twist my wrist to get a change of direction. So as long as you get a bit more cover each time, you're going to end up covering your whole door. As always, when you're finishing off any wall or any door, make sure you roll it right out floor to ceiling. And that's just going to even out all your paint. Now to finish this off, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to sand it back again very lightly though with a 360 grit sandpaper. That's a very, very fine sandpaper. And then go over it with the finished coat. But already, this door is a beautiful statement.